Edmund. What's up, brother? Oh, so you're a wrestler now. <laughs> I, I mix it up, you know, I mix it up. Um, how are you feeling? Good, you know, um, it was a good fight. You know, battled through adversity in the beginning, but uh, yeah, I thought I did good. How hurt were you in that first two minutes of the fight? Yeah, he caught me with a right hand. I was in there, I was definitely in there, but uh, you know, stumbled my legs a little bit, but I was definitely still in there. Now that you've had some time to digest the performance, I mean, a couple minutes, how did you feel about it? I thought it was a good performance. You know, um, battling through adversity is a uh, is something I was I was I kept telling myself. You know, whatever happens, I'm going to go in there and battle through it. You know, whatever happens, and I'm going to come out with the win. And ultimately, that's what happens. I'm always kill or be killed in there. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I took this time off from my last fight to make some improvements, get better. And after the fight was done, I, I I'm like, damn, like I can keep going. You know. What was the game plan coming into the fight? Yeah, uh, it was to, to keep it on the feet, you know, uh, and touch him up, touch his legs, touch his calf. Uh, but my, my coach, Dewey Cooper, was telling me, you know, he has fast hands. Watch out for the right hand. And he caught me with that. But uh, I'm glad I overcame it and um, ended up, I, I did a takedown on him, you know, switched it up a little bit. And yeah, got the finish after. Coach Jason has been hyping up your wrestling for a minute. And uh, you kind of, you like, Got to show it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, man, working with Coach Jason every time, you know, there's no jiu-jitsu guy, grappling guy better than Coach Jason, you know. I challenge anybody to come <laughs> come compete against him. Um, he's one of the best, and uh, working with him, you know, I'm going to make great improvements. So I'm blessed to have a corner like him. You made uh, a couple, you know, statements that, you know, you, you came in dog shape, and you know, you've been training with the dogs. You took time off between fights. How much did that help? Oh, it helped a lot, you know. Um, I came in dog shape, I'm telling you. I, I, I was ready to die in there. And um, it's all thanks to my coaches, Coach Dewey, Coach Jason, and my brother Leon. You know, they, they, they kept pushing me in the gym um, through the hard times. Uh, and yeah, and, and all my training partners, you know. Sh working with Sean, doing a double camp with Sean, you know. Getting in, getting in there with the former middleweight champ, which I think still middleweight champ. Um, yeah, you can't ask for a better team, uh, better people to push you every day. And I know you wanted to show off your gas tank because that's you, uh, people's biggest critic criticism on you. But when you knock people out in the first round, I mean. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm like, hey, bro, if this went to the second round, uh, I would have been fine. It's just I rocked them and. Why not take the opportunity to finish him? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let him be just so I can show I can go the second round. But I'm telling you, I felt great in there uh, to continue going. That's awesome. Um, when, when would you like to return? Oh, we'll see. You know, right now I kind of banged up my foot and, and my hand, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna take it fight by fight. Keep getting better. I'm still young in this sport, um, and I'm just gonna keep making improvements, get better, and, and see what happens. I know earlier in, in your career you were just taking fights to take them. But now it seems like you're being more thoughtful on who you want to fight, and you're getting better between fights, like you said. You're, you're, you're training, you're improving and all your, is, is that something that when you moved out here, that's kind of like a mindset change? Absolutely, you know, um, when I was younger, you know, it was just about, you know, riding the hype, riding the storm, you know, like, keep getting the finishes. Like, it was, I was on that trail, but right now, you know, I'm, I'm more mature. I've learned from my losses, you know, they're all experienced, wins or losses, they're experienced learners, like this fight right that I just had right now, you know, getting caught with that right hand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back, although I won, I'm, I'm gonna see the mistake I made and I'm, I'm gonna work on it and get better. So yeah, I, I'd say it's experience and maturity that I developed from all those fights and the experience I have in the UFC. Congratulations, Vegas, Edmund. Thank you, brother, I'll see you soon.